Lord, for God is great and he's greatly to be praised. We bring you greetings today in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. We greet you, Bible way. We greet you on YouTube. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God is a good God and he's worthy to be praised. Somebody said from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, he's worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Come on, Facebook. God is worthy. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. 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 Something about praising the Lord. Something about blessing his name. Yeah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Our choir is coming. But I feel mighty good. How did you feel when you came out of the wilderness? Somebody said, I felt like... I'm brand new Because of Christ Life is worth living He's 
is everything I needed. I love him much more than I can say. I would be nothing without him. much more than I can say more than I nothing without him. He makes my life so complete. And I can best explain it. I love him much more than I can say. can say it's prayer time I love the Lord more than I can say he's a lover the Lord for he is good his mercies endureth forever thank you Jesus 
Father, we praise and we thank you once again for your goodness and your mercies. Thank you, Lord God, how you allowed us to come together one more time. Realizing, Lord, that there's no goodness of our own, but by your love and your mercies, we give thanks unto you, Lord. You allowed us, Lord, to come together. Hallelujah. You gave us in your word instructions to do so. And we are thankful that you allowed us to come together in spirit and in truth to praise and to bless your name. Oh God, look upon those that are listening at this time. There are those that need your help. There are those that are sick. There are those that need to be comforted. Lord, you specialize in things that seem impossible. Hallelujah. And you can do what no other power can do. Go to them, Lord. Work it out according to your word. Work it out according to your will. And we thank you, Lord. And we praise you for it. Look on our pastor today in the name of Jesus as he come before your so great a people. Anoint him, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Touch his body from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Strengthen him, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless his companion, Lord. Look on our assistant pastor. Bless him, Lord. Look upon Minister Jenkins. Bless him, Lord. The ministerial staff. Bless us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, and we praise you and we thank you and we glorify you for it is these blessings that we do ask in the name of Jesus and all the saints of God say amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord for God is great and he's greatly to be praised. You may be seated. Well, actually, let us continue to stand as we read our scripture. Amen. Romans, the 11th chapter. Romans, the 11th chapter. Amen. When you have it, say amen. I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Won't he not what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time, somebody say at this present time. At this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Israel have not obtained that which, seek, which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, the rest were blinded. According as it is written, God has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that should not see, and ears that should not hear unto this day. And David saith, let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back alway. I say then, have they stumbled, that they should fall? God forbid, but rather, through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke, provoke them to jealousy. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminution of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? 
For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. If by means I may provoke immolation them which are my flesh, and might save some of them. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the renew the receiving of them be but life from death? Let's read 15 again. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from death? And those that love the Lord say amen. amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Our choir has come at this time. Amen. Let's receive them with a hearty amen.
Hallelujah. What a song. It's not about us, but it's about Jesus. Hallelujah. I said it's not about us, but it's about Jesus. Oh, and while we're worshiping him, let us get our offerings in our hands. Let us stand to our feet as we give an offering unto the Lord. For God is great and he's greatly to be praised. He's worthy of the glory and he's worthy of the honor. Sometimes we don't think that uh, offering is a part of worship. But I want you to know that it's a part of worship also. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Our ushers are coming in the name of the Lord as we stand to our feet everyone. And we give a prayer for our offering in Jesus' name. Precious God, in the name of Jesus, we praise and we thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercies. Thank you for your love and your kindness. Thank you for how you allowed us to come together one more time as we come, Lord God, to be a blessing unto the church. We ask you, Lord God, to look upon every heart. Help us to be cheerful givers according to your word. And for it is these blessings that we do ask in Jesus' name, the church of God say amen. amen. Ushers.
This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. For waking me up this morning, starting me on my way. Praise the Lord. Someone said, you deserve my worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, truly God is worthy of the praises. Amen. At this time, I have a card to read. It says, thank you. Two small words for such a big feeling. Your kindness really made a difference. Your thoughtfulness really touched my heart. The gratitude I feel really can't be put into words. Love you all. This is from Evangelist Joyce Squire. In the name of the Lord, amen. Truly God is worthy of the praise. Amen. We thank God and we continue to pray for her in the name of Jesus. For God is worthy, I said, of praises. At this time, amen, the most important part of our service is to hear the word of God. How many know that God said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. At this time, our pastor is coming. Amen. Elder Tony Newsom, in the name of our Lord and Jesus Christ. But before he come, a choir is singing one more song in Jesus' name. Jesus will. Jesus will. 
praise him. We thank God. His goodness and we praise God for his mercy. Oh, yes. <laughs> I like that. You sung the right song at the right time. Oh, yes. Somebody ain't got it yet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Hey. hands and about this will because Jesus said he will. And when he said he will, all his will I will. Oh God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
name of Jesus, our soon coming King, who promised us, oh yes, who promised us, oh yes, oh yes, Jesus will. How do I know he will? Because he said he will. I praise him this evening. For his goodness, I praise him for strength. Praise the Lord, I praise him for you. Praise him for you, Facebook, YouTube, land. Praise God for all the saints that's in the house of God. Praise the Lord. Don't want to leave nobody out. Praise the Lord, but I see some faces I haven't seen in a while. Praise God. Thank God for blessing you. We know what you've been through. Praise God. And God knows better than we what you've been through and how he brought you out. Good to see you, Sister Antoinette and Brother Bun. Good to see you, man. God is so merciful. 
He is so good to us. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know what? We can't afford not to praise his name. I say we can't afford it. He brought us out of darkness into his marvelous light. And he placed our feet on straight street. We got some folk in here today that need the Lord and don't know how much they need him. But these are testing time again, and, and, and we're going through. Oh, yes. Jesus will. He, prom he promised us that he will bring us through. He promised us that he will supply our every need. If that ain't through, what is it? And then he comforts us when we get lonely, when we get down, when we can't see a way out. He comes and he comforts us. He gives us a peace of mind. He let us know that he's God. And besides him, there's no other. It just make my soul glad when I see us not talking about you. I'm talking about us this time because I'm in there, too. When we can rejoice in the God of our salvation. Praise the Lord. Sometimes don't even need no music to rejoice. But when I look out and I see the goodness of the Lord, I'm, I, I'm looking at a 90 something year old woman up there shouting. She can't move like she used to move, but she moving right on. It doesn't matter. And I praise God for that because that gives me encouragement to push the harder. No matter what's going on, saints, these are the times, again, that try men's souls. And if we can't see what the Lord is doing, it ain't nobody's fault but our own. We got a Bible we can read. We got a preacher that preached the truth. And if we die and our soul be lost, it ain't nobody's fault but my own. Because God has given us everything that pertained to life and godliness. He saw the both sides. <laughs> but he has a better side. Oh God. He has a better side. Because he let us know on this side. It's just temporal. But the side we are on our way to. It's eternal. Where Sabbath would have no end. You thought you, you was praising him now. Just wait until that great getting up morning. When the songwriter say, when I see Jesus. Amen. How you know you going to see him? Because he told me he went away to come back for me. And we have to believe his word. Because he says, God, I, a lot of stuff we send out, it comes back. My wife and sister Dale sent out some mail sometimes. When I looked that same mail, they sent to go to somebody that's back in the mailbox. But this word, Brother Bun, that he sent out, it will not, it cannot. Because you know why? Because of found, this is his foundation. It stands sure. Yeah, thank you, God. 
And this is why we have to get it rooted in our minds, in our lives, and in our hearts, this word. Because no matter, again, what we go through, this word is going to accomplish what he sent it to do. In the gates of hell, it's, it's, the hell is out there. But the gates of hell cannot prevail against this. It's a blessing to know that God can't. <laughs> oh, it's a blessing to know that God can. And when you sung that song like you sung, oh, yes, you sung that baby with authority. Woo. Yes, he will. Carter didn't say he will, but Jesus said that he will. Yeah. And I'm feeling mighty good. All right. He's giving me the strength as I move right now. Amen. And it's good to know that he's a right now God. Sister Cindy, I was thinking about you as I walked across this pulpit. And I think about the word, how we have to put the word in practice. Sometimes when we're going through something, God don't want us to say nothing. Even when it looked like it's going against the grain. That test that you had to take. And they caused you to come back the next day when it wasn't supposed to be? Oh, yes. Yes, he will. He said he will. He said he'll never leave you. He said he will keep you. He said he will look out. Oh, God. God is always looking out for me. And he's always busy opening doors. I can't even see him sometimes. Even in the midst of the tears, Sister Dale, I can't see him in the midst of the pain, in the midst of the problem, every situation. Oh, yes. Jesus will. you know he will he is his will and to do of his good pleasure in us but we got to believe it in the midst of no strength in the midst of trying to see it trying to understand I got to know in whom I believe I only know but be persuaded that he's able to keep everything that I committed unto him. Ask yourself this question in your mind. Have you committed your all to him? Think about it. We commit ourselves to him when we need something from him. But when he blessed things to go our way, our way, we sing, seem like it's our way. He know how to come in the midst and turn it around and let you know this ain't really your way. This is the way that I got to carry you to let you see me. Because right. <laughs> if I don't break you down, just like that transformer out there, if it don't break that power down before it come in here to burn up this building, that stuff that we want will burn us up. But this word 
Oh God, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove what that good and that acceptable. He didn't stop right there. He said perfect will of God. It's got to be perfect. He's not going to accept it if it ain't perfect. Why, Brother Tony? Because he is perfect. We not perfect. That's why you got to step in the background and let him lead and guide. Let me get out of here. Jesus. <sighs> the peace of a covenant keeper. Everybody ought to know that by heart by now. Sister Angel let me know, I think she told me I've been on this since July. But we have to know what we have. We have The peace, we have the peace of God, of God, the God of all grace. We. And in the midst of, I, I want you to look at that word, the God of all grace. In the midst of the things that we're going through and the things that we do, we don't know this road that we're traveling. We've never been down this road before. And guess what? Because we've never been down this road before, we mess up. Amen. And it's no goodness of our own that he brings us back to him is the grace of God. The peace of a covenant keeper, we have the God of all grace. And I think, and I know, we don't understand it sometimes. This is why the Mark, the Lord said, I have given you pastors after my own heart. Not your heart, because you know what? We don't know what we need for ourselves. We think we know. But that thing that we think sometimes will lead us to destruction. Listen at this. We have the God of all peace, meaning the free and the unmerited favor of God. Not, it don't stop right there. As manifested in the salvation of sinners and bestower of blessings. You see how we was out of fellowship with him? But he bestowed the blessings back to us. You know what? You ain't got to get, we didn't even deserve it. But he brought us out of darkness and he began to change everybody in here from glory to glory. I, I, I love this phrase right here. Heaven came down. Oh, and glory filled our souls. Did you get that? Heaven, the goodness of God, heaven came down. God's favor gives us so many benefits. He favored us. I tell you what the scripture says. If the Lord will mark iniquity. I don't care how good I think I am. Or what I think I am. I wouldn't be able to stand. 
nobody in here would be able to stand. I, I, y'all, y'all remember this? Some people visit your past more than I do. Visit my past more than I do. And what I tell them when they try to bring my past up, dig them uh, uh, a face it, I don't live there no more, baby. I sold the whole building. It's condemned. My life is in Christ. And there is therefore now, don't care what you say. There is therefore now no condemnation. I don't care what you've done. But there's a clause in that. To them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, you got to walk after the spirit. For the law of the spirit in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, that word was out there. For what the law could not, it was weak through the flesh. But God sent us some help. He sent his own begotten son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that I might be saved, that you might be saved. That's why we have the God of all grace. Oh, yes, he will. How you know he said he will? This is a day in a time when man's hearts are failing them because of the things that's going on in the world. But the Lord didn't leave us without excuse and uh, without example and excuse. Big six books here. I believe Ella Anthony was talking the other night. If everything that the Lord had said from uh, him being a child up to when he went off this scene, if it was written in books, this world wouldn't be able to contain. He gave us 66 and we want to go against them. Oh, yes, he will. He'll show you yourself. And in the midst of him showing us ourselves, he'll show us the favor that he has given to us to get right with him. First Peter five and ten. This is the kind of God that we serve, saints. He'll bless us. Y'all know the scriptures say the blessings of the Lord make it rich. Not your possessions. Not your house. Not your car. Not your clothes. Not how well you can sing. Not how, how good you look. But when the Lord put each and every one of us us together, he blessed us. I see she breathing, so she okay. He blessed us. And this is why David said, I'm fearfully and I'm wonderfully made. And that my soul know right well. God has everybody in here covered. No matter how you feel in today, no matter what situation you're about to encounter when you go out the door, no matter, matter what you're thinking about today, but the God of all grace. Hallelujah. What did it say, Ella Anthony? But the God of all grace 
uh -huh. who have called us into unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. And the only way we are going to be able to get there is through Christ. Where did he call us? Into his what? Eternal glory. Do we know how long eternal is? These light afflictions that we're going through now, it can't even be compared with the glory. Oh, that, oh, that glory again. Amen. With the glory that shall be revealed in us. Sometimes I wish I can preach 24 seven. And I'm not saying that because I think I can preach. I'm just saying that because the way I feel when I'm preaching or when I'm teaching. But God knows. And this is what we have to understand. We have to know that he know what he's doing. Some things God has to bring in our lives because we are think we bigger than somebody else. He has to make sure he keep us in the position where we would listen to him and little Ralph where he we would hear him when he speak. When we look at what man is doing and what man is saying, the, the, the man is leading us to destruction. The word is the only thing that's going to give us life because the God of all grace, he the one called us, not man. That's right. Amen. Lord told us he has hot or cold. You know why he said that? At least I know where you're standing. Because if you're lukewarm, you know what lukewarm means? That means I'm trying to serve God and serve the devil too. You can't do both of them. And it make you feel good too. Be oh, God, help me. Because when a man can deceive him own self, he in trouble. She in trouble. Oh, I got to give me at least a one third. I ain't get up to one o'clock almost. <laughs> You got to go. You just got to go. The door, I, I had an usher to open the door for you. I ain't going to feel bad either. But the God of all grace. Sometimes I had to read stuff over again because I'm slow. No, I'm not letting nobody know I'm slow. That's when you can get some help. You think you know it all, you can't get nothing. Because nothing from nothing that know it all leaves nothing. That's what's our problem sometimes. We try to rush this word, make folk jump and shout. It ain't about this, it's not about us. That's what y'all told me this morning in the song, but it's about Jesus. And, and, and when we can get it on our minds that it's about Jesus, he said, if he be lifted up Jesus, he said, I'll draw all men unto me. You don't do the drawing. If you don't know this word, folk want to just come to church and just say that they came. But this is a place for us to come to learn about him and to know what we need so we can get out of here. The B-I-B-L-E, basic information before leaving this earth, Bible. Yes, sir. Amen. And the Bible say this way is so plain that a wayfaring man, though fool, But the God of all grace, he got all the favor you need. Amen. And he ain't slacking that, that, that favor. 
He has multitudes of tender mercy. Have you ever had somebody that seemed like they're having mercy on you and they fussing you out all the time? But the scriptures say he has multitude of tender mercy. Go ahead, Ellen Anthony. We have called us into eternal, his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After. Mm. <clears throat> you got to get to the after. Some of us so impatient, we can't get to the after. Somebody might be slow like me. Read it again. <laughs> Read it again, L.A. Anthony. But the God of all grace who have called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus mm -hmm. after. Now remember, he didn't call you after yourself. He called you according to Christ Jesus. Amen. By Christ Jesus. Uh-huh. After that ye have suffered a while. How many want to suffer? <laughs> the only way we're going to be able to make, be made perfect, we have to help me. And he that has suffered in the flesh, man, this is a shouting message. Yes, it is. Because we have to get this. Not only do we have to get this, but we have to know this. Look at them Hebrew boys. They didn't even have the Holy Ghost, but they believed God. When the king told them, okay, I'm going to give you an opportunity to bow. World speaking to us, telling we can do anything we want to do, and we've fallen into the trap. Amen. Amen. We are supposed to be set aside. We are a peculiar people. We are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood to show forth the praises of him who called us out of darkness. This is a marvelous light. And because we was born in this thing, every time the Lord told Paul, it's hard for you to kick against the prick. Come on, Ella Anthony. After you have suffered a while. After you have suffered a while. Now, 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 now listen at this. He does things for a reason. After you have suffered a while. The suffering of believers. Don't think you're not going to, if you believe, you're going to suffer something. If you want to go back, if we want to go back with the Lord, we're going to suffer something. But the grace of God that bring, gives us favor, come, come, come here. The grace of God that gives us favor. God's grace and glory. This is what we have. We have God's grace, his favor, and we have glory in us. Just bear with me a few minutes. Go ahead, Ella Anthony. There is. Yes. There is, there God. is God's great resources. Don't you know there's some great resources in serving God? You might not believe this. It's some great resources in suffering. Amen. You saw what the scripture said. He said, after ye have suffered a while. How long is a while? How long does it take for us to get where he want us to be? After you have suffered a while, I'm going to make you perfect. 
but you got to go through something. And it seems like it should be the other way around. You have to give me strength before you make me perfect. But God don't work like us. Go ahead, Ella Anthony. Two great resources. We got two preachers today. Uh huh. Two great resources are mentioned. This is our problem. We so busy trying to follow the floor mat of somebody else that we get ourselves in a bind. So what the people or folk don't like the way your delivery is? Somebody gonna like it. Thank you. They'll be all right. You got to a place. I'm, I'm all right. Go ahead, Ella Anthony. Two great resources I'm mentioning. His grace. I told you. This is a great resource to have the favor of God. Now think about going without favor. People you know give you favor. And it's a blessing to get that favor. But the blessings of God, again, make it rich. Amen. That favor that they give you might be sorry sometimes about it. But the blessings of God make it rich. It don't add no sorrow. It's just rich. It's just rich. It's just rich. And folk can see the rich richness of it. Why they ain't acting unseemly? Why they ain't backbiting? Why they ain't retaliating? Because the blessings of God make it rich. It make you perfect. Good God, my master. Not only does it, 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 it make you perfect, but it establishes you in whatever situation you are in. It'll strengthen you. It'll settle you. It'll give you a peace of mind. When the enemy comes in like a flood. That glory, that favor will lift up a standard because it ain't in us to do it. What, what can you honor? What's that song you saying? Lord, deliver me. Because all I do is hurt me. Y'all remember when Jesus walked down here those many years? How they talked about him? How they took him and they, they hung him on Calvary Cross? And he didn't say a mumbling word. He saw something great. He saw himself putting glory in us. He saw us becoming perfect. Go ahead, Ellen. Anthony. His grace and his call to eternal glory. God wants all of us in heaven by his favor. He don't count us out. He don't give us nothing that we can't handle. I need y'all to listen. You know why? Because the scripture said there is no temptation that's taken man. But such is common. But God is faithful and whatever, whoever is going through something today, he has a way of escape, not out of it. But he can deliver you in it. How you know, Brother Tony, if I could talk to those Hebrew boys today, they would say, Brother Tony, I was in the fiery furnace and didn't even feel no heat. All I know is that the Lord was with me. Oh, yes, he will. How you know he said he will? He'll fight my battle if I just keep. We gonna get it one of these days. <sighs> Go ahead, Ella Anthony. Everything that God does for the believer. Mm -mm. Not everything. 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 He took my mama. He took my brother. 
Everything. Took my daughter. Everything. Cause this to happen to me, but everything he does is for a reason. Amen. No, I don't understand it all the time, but I got to believe. If all in this life we have hope in Christ, we of all men. This ain't my final destination, Uncle George. Because across the bridge, <laughs> oh, there'll be no trouble. There'll be no pain. But I got to get across the bridge. But until then, how ah, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy, no matter how, how bad I feel, with joy, I'll carry on. This is the mindset we have to have. Amen. But until then, our eyes <sighs> behold the city. Until that day, everybody got a that day. He calls me home. I'm not sorry. I answered the master's call. So Pat, he hit lift my heavy load. <sighs> Come unto me. He lift my heavy load. Now I'm on the glory road. I'm not sorry at all. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy. Heaven came down <laughs> and glory filled my soul. Brother Sam, I got three minutes. Go ahead. Everything that God does for the believer is because of his grace. It ain't because of you. You didn't merit this. You didn't even merit to get up this morning. Not only get up, but get in that shower and in that bathtub and give yourself a shower and a bath. You didn't marry that. It was the grace of God. It was the favor of God. We got to know that we don't deserve nothing but death. Born out of shape. <laughs> but he took us through the, oh God. He took me to the potter's house. Oh, then he put us on the wheel. And he caused the work to be wrought in us. That mess he put on the wheel, he made it again. He made it again, another vessel out of that same mess that seemed good to him. Oh, God. Oh, God, help us. We got to see this. We go to other places, workplaces, and, and games, and all of that stuff, and we put all our energy into it. Want to be the big man on the block, but the only way you're going to be big, because these things here are temporal. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Man, I wish I had time to finish this. Read L. Anthony. Note. Take that, note. Take, take, take note of what you didn't have and what you got now. Take note. Had to go in the closet this morning. Uh, Sister Linda didn't know what I was going to wear. Praise the Lord, sister, I mean, brother, oldest brother and sister-in-law. 
people tell me I'm out of order when I do it, then so be it. That's our problem. Had to push back all them clothes. Couldn't hardly wear none of them. I found something that I could wear. Can we wear this work? Can we find something we can wear? I told you it's a lesson in everything. Can we wear this word like we wear our clothes and think we look good in our clothes when we put them on? When we put on this word, can we look good? Boy, you preaching hard now. Things don't happen just to be happening. One day soon, the rapture, the catching away of the church is coming. Sister Talita sang a song, I pray we all be ready. I pray that we get our business straight. That's what I pray. It's not about us again. Oh, yes, he'll, he, he'll do it. He said he will. First Philippians 1 and 6 say, he's able being confident of this very thing that he which has begun a good work. Don't matter how much you had to cry, Sister Paulette, or what you got to go through, who treats you, how they treat you. He's able to perform it. Y'all probably ain't never seen this before, have you? I seen Geno Jennings do it. Had a man standing beside him reading. He just ain't he read for me sitting down. He can read for me standing up. We just want to be so professional. But this is a great profession. When we can get this profession, this word, that's great. You don't mind being called simple. You want to be peculiar? Do what this word say. Because folk going to mock you. Don't walk with that one because they ain't going to believe that you can go over here and drink a little bit and then come to church Sunday morning and shout hallelujah. Come on, choir, get ready. Go ahead, L. Anthony. Note that he is even called the God of all grace. <laughs> Not some. He has all the favor. All of it. The devil don't have no power but what we give him. The Lord said all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. And I know what to give my children to bring them through. But just know, just in case, ah, the winds keep on blowing and the, storm, and the storms don't cease. Just make sure that your soul is anchored. Again, it ain't going to always go your way. You're going to surmise some stuff in your mind. That's what the devil come to do. He comes to steal, steal, and destroy. But the Lord said, keep your mind stayed on me, and I'll keep you in what? Perfect. Better go that perfect again. He will allow you to go through whatever you have to go through. You better make sure that seed falling on good ground. Yes, sir. Told y'all, I'm getting ready to go. Y'all, I, I want y'all to stand up and get ready. And to get the music, tune it up. I told you, we talk too much. Song I used to hear in the way, you talk too much, you're wearing me to death. You talk too much, you're just wearing my health. You just talk, 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 talk. You just talk too much. Keep playing, Angie. You talk about people that you never seen. 
You talk about people, you can make me scream. You just talk, 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 talk. You just talk too much. But I come to let you know when the Lord fits you this time. And he's given us opportunity to get fit. When the Lord fits you this time. Oh, I'm going to say it again. When the Lord. Covenant key. Oh, <laughs> 
Certainly we thank him for his grace because he is the God of all grace. I say he is the God of all grace. Hallelujah. Could not earn it. It's unearned. Praise God. Unmerited. And it is the favor of God. Don't you feel favor on today? because he bless you and give you a mind to assemble together today. But the word of God, 1 Peter 5 and 10 said, but the God of all grace. But don't you know you have to suffer? After you have suffered a while, after you had gone through some things, he gonna make you perfect. He gonna strengthen you. He can sell you the God of all grace. We thank God for the word, amen, that came on today by our pastor, amen, who is preaching from the, the depth of, of his heart, amen, and knowing that we had to go through some things, but the grace of God. I said, but the grace of God. Praise God. It can help us. He knew that we couldn't do it by ourselves. But the grace of God came to help us. Praise God. Anybody want prayer? Anybody need some strength? Just stand. Amen. 
Let somebody anoint you. Hallelujah. On yesterday, we had park and pray. Praise God. And many came out. They were very, very successful. And we thank God for those that had the mind to come out and to believe that prayer was their strength. Amen. When we can go to the throne of God, something we can't get from man, but we had to go to the throne of God because there where our help come from. Our help come from the Lord. We also thank God for the usher, for the usher day. They made a report. Amen. We appreciate the usher. But the church must go on. The church of God must go on. And he had given us strength that we must carry on. One writer said, who had believed our report? And who is the arms of the Lord had been revealed? We must carry on the word of God. Yeah. Sometimes when you don't know how the word to say, you just say yes to the Lord. When we don't know how to say it, just allow the spirit to make the end of section. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But Lord, you know what I have need, huh? Even before I ask. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. My soul said, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. How excellent is thy name in all the earth who has set thy glory above the heaven. Lord, we come before you today, Lord. Lord, even when we don't know what to say. Lord, when we don't have the word to say. Lord, we say yes to your will. Lord, you already know what we need. Lord, before we ask, oh God. Oh God, but some is standing here, Lord. Oh, God, they need a touch from you. Oh, God, touch that body, Lord. Lord, they need your strength, Lord. Give strength, oh, God. Hallelujah. Lord, help us to believe in the grace that you have given us, oh, God. That it may strengthen us, Lord. That it may make us perfect. That it may settle us, oh, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we ask it in your name. For the power in your name, Lord. There are healing in your name. There are salvation in your name, Lord. And Lord, we just want to thank you. 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 Lord, we believe your word, Lord, that came on the day, Lord. Help us accept your word, Lord, and walk in your word, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to walk out the spirit and not out the flesh, Lord. Help us to redeem the time for the days are evil. Look at us 
Lord to Jesus, who is this, our help and our strength, the author, the finisher of our faith. Oh God, we actually bless your people, Lord. Oh God, incline their ear. You are cry, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Our souls say yes, Lord. Our souls say yes, Lord. Our souls say yes, Lord. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 my soul say. Today we thank God for His goodness and mercy. Amen. We thank God for those that are viewing. Amen. Continue to pray for us as we pray for you. Amen. We thank God for by the way we thank you, We thank God for our pastor, how God is blessing him and giving him strength. I thank God for our elect lady, Evangelist Beverly Newsom. At Anthony, Minister Jenkins. Praise God. We just thank God for Bible Way. Hallelujah. Thank you for making uh, the park and pray uh, successful on yesterday. Many that came by. Man, this time, there are no more. We thank God for our visitor. We had some visitors in our midst. We appreciate you and we want to acknowledge you for coming and continue to come and Allow God to bless you. Amen. At this time we can stand. We have Bible teaching on Tuesday night. Praise God. Let's be here at 7.30. Amen. Grace the Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, again, for your goodness and your mercy. Lord, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. May God bless you.